About 2.15 on Thursday, October the 17th, 2019 now. Guys, still out here at the, the grounds of the Cover Bridge Festival, Bridgeton, Indiana. Day number seven of the 10-day festival. And guys, Beth Hammer showed up. <laughs> this is one of my regular YouTube viewers that has left a lot of comments and participated in a lot of live streams. Came out to see me today. Just to see you. Just as, they're not even getting a drawing done. They just came out here to see me. I'm sure y'all are enjoying the festival. At least yes, hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, but they they brought some stuff. Uh, Got your back. First off, jalapeno, Mexican jalapeno M and M's, which. As far as I know, are completely discontinued, and you got she got these from a variety bag, picked out all these. Yep, just for you. <laughs> yeah, this is our least favorite one, so I got some discontinued M and M's, guys. That's awesome. And then um, a dime bag for Nestor. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong person sees this, I could get myself in trouble. It's catnip. It's catnip. It's dried catnip. I'm going to stuff that in Nestor's little chickmunk. Change it out. Give him some new, some new catnip after he's dunked that chickmunk in the water so many times. I'm sure it probably needs it. Um, also, we've got one of the headbands that has been removed from the running. Because Beth went ahead and bought it for me. And that would be the dark snakeskin. Look, this is option number three or four, I think. I don't remember. Yeah, but yeah, now this was gifted to me, so uh, you don't have to vote on that one. <laughs> and she also cooked dinner. Look at this. They got a whole Tupperware container full of rice and red beans, so don't have to cook dinner tonight. That's pretty good. Well, thank you, Beth. You're and Joe. Beth and Joe, thank you so much. Yeah, the noise you're hearing is the helicopter. The helicopter flies over every few minutes because they're selling helicopter rides over here. But yes, thank you, Beth and Joe. It's awesome to have people come out and see me. My, my regular viewers come out and see me. This is a very novel thing at this point. <laughs> to have, this is, I think, the third time somebody has come out to see me at this festival. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty yeah, popular. I so. Yeah. Alright, so Beth is getting to meet Nestor. <laughs> Hi, Nestor. Some of my subscribers, if you come to a show where I, my booth is close enough, Hi, Nestor. is close enough to my camper, you might get to meet Nestor. Hey, Nestor. He's, he just woke up, so he's still kind of like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I got her. <laughs> if I got her, okay. No. You okay, buddy? lunch I'm gonna have a couple of slices of pizza from Jamie's wood-fired pizza they actually cook it right there on the wood in front of you so you know it's actually wood-fired the question is does it make the pizza taste any better let's find out that extra little bit of flavor that comes from the smoke is definitely here can't say I'm real impressed with the crust though it's very white it's like a biscuit that's been rolled thin, like a canned biscuit that's been rolled thin. The toppings are pretty good though. Can't complain there. And I'm gonna be drinking this uh, Sioux City brand prickly pear um, soda. And yes, I am aware that it's pronounced Sioux as in like the Sioux Indians, and I've been pronouncing it wrong in my previous videos. I, I know, I know, I got it. I'm not sure exactly what prickly pear is supposed to ta taste like, but it definitely doesn't taste like any other fruit. And uh, I, I would say probably prickly pear. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty good, whatever it is. Got a good tang to it. The booth that was selling the Amish donuts last year uh, has expanded and is now selling something called Bavarian Cream Filled Donut Holes. And they actually inject it right there, right as you order it. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. 
That's a lot better than any Dunkin' Donuts or Krispy Kreme, I can tell you that. Really good. It's 6.30 in the afternoon now. And I'm about 20 minutes away in the neighboring city of Rockville, Indiana. Uh, for the annual Thursday night vendor get together at the 36th Saloon. We're ready. Oh, there he is. There's Nate right there. Yep. They're the big guy that organizes the vendor get together every year. Who, me? Yes, you. <laughs> of course, you. <laughs> This entire table right here is all for the Bridgeton Mill vendors. <laughs> no videotape, all digital. Okay, he's digital taping us. <laughs> okay, this is the fourth year that I've drawn these guys. They missed last year because the line was too long. And um, so there's there's what they look like. Perfect. There's their drawing. <laughs> so they're saying this is the best one I've done so far. So, yeah, that's awesome. Good to have repeat customers. Twenty five dollars, and you can have one of these novel toilet paper dispensers. Comes out the the roll is right up in there. Comes out. He's holding his nose for obvious reasons. There's one with a dog. Got the, the black lab, I think, there. Also, cupping his nose. Yeah, I'm gonna remove some toilet paper out of the butt and use it on your butt while the dog holds his nose. Or the horse. Air freshener. <laughs> it's an air freshener. It is bacon scented. Bacon lip balm, bacon candy, huh, that screams Sunday, Sunday night Toon Squad right there. Bacon soap, yes, this is real, this is it's bacon soap. Uh, bacon gumballs, and then of course you've got some skin tattoos, temporary tattoos. One is a toupee. You've also got the little Captain America shield, thought bubble, or, or the light bulb. You have a bright idea in your bald head, you can put a light bulb there. It's a, uh, oh my goodness, novel bacon candy necklace. I too dream of a world where a chicken can cross the road without having his motivations questioned. No farting in the hot tub. We know you guys have been drinking. <laughs> Accidents happen. Oh, don't be farting in the hot tub. No working. No working during drinking time. It's drinking time now. No more work. A fisherman in the catch of his life live here. So if you want to mount a big fiberglass one there. Oh, the man cave. <laughs> I'm going to need one of those at some point. Sign guy that he actually hand does them. Right there. Draws them out. Ah, give us a piece of sign. Awesome. Draws them out and then actually hand does all the lettering. One tool right there. Traces out. This is going to be a camper here. You can see where he's going to trace out the camper with the bandsaw. Very cool.
got a YouTube channel, Facebook. I gig around all of Indianapolis and Indy area. Okay. Uh, over in Muncie and Mobile as well. Lonesome but with company. Yep, but I'm primarily a street performer. Awesome. Yet another yearly food tradition out here on top of the whoopie pie and, of course, the Amish donut, the crepe. Now we're doing hot ham and cheese. The giant, thick hot ham and cheese. Okay. Yeah. They only make one thing, they make it well, and they keep the line moving. Here we go. Just as good as always. You guys might remember the Java Aroma coffee guys that they didn't come back this year, but they came to visit. They came to visit. So I guess they can answer you guys in person why why you guys didn't come back this year. Exactly. Blame no, all those heard, online people. I heard that it was busy. because you guys got so busy with the online business mm -hmm. that it didn't make it wasn't worth it to come out here and set up a booth and Oh it's worth it. It just ain't got time. Just don't have the time yeah, for yeah. it anymore. Your free website? shipping this weekend. Oh, free shipping for this week. <laughs> Because we're not here. I yeah. did that because we're not here. Oh, you did that as a like... Okay. As a sorry. Yeah. As, as a sorry we didn't come. <laughs> and I didn't get to drink my Thanksgiving pumpkin coffee every no. few hours. <laughs> so just enjoy it at home. Order yeah. online. All right. Well, guys, it's the end of the day now. Time for me to head off to where I can get some 4G, get this vlog uploaded, and, of course, tally up the votes and see which headband I am going to by on Saturday, tomorrow. Last two days of the festival to go, guys. I have really enjoyed this. If you have, please don't hesitate to indicate so by hitting that thumbs up like button. Make sure and subscribe if you haven't already and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon and going over and selecting all. And leave some comments down in the comment section. Join the Facebook group, share around, do all that nice stuff. Uh, we are about 60 subscribers away from hitting that thousand mark, that big thousand. So let's get there, guys. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.